welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be working on my bar cart area. It needs a little bit of help. And then I'm also going to be sharing my mini Christmas in July home tour. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just see you and me together. Don't If you are new to my channel, I like to share cleaning and declutter motivation as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. Then once you click the red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my content. This video is in participation with two challenges. The first one is the bar cart and drink challenge, which I will be sharing a drink that I'm going to be making today. And that challenge is being hosted by Fabulous Designs on a Budget as well as Diva Designing on a Dime by Kimberly Davis. The second challenge that I'm participating in is the Christmas in July home tour for 2019. That challenge is being hosted by Tammy Thompson from TVMG. I'll be sure to leave a link to both of the challenges playlists with all the other participants as well as all three ladies and their channels down in the description box so that when you're finished watching my video you can head on over and check the channels out as well as the playlists. This is the area that I'm going to be working on. We have a friend staying with us. She, unlike us, <laughs> drinks coffee. And so I just want to work on this area. I have worked on it previously and I did show y'all how I use these two shelves, but I want to condense this more up to here so that I can put that stuff up there and hopefully just have the coffee pot is sitting here. The first thing that I did, like I always like to do when I'm decluttering, is just remove everything from the area that I'm going to be decluttering. And then using my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the honeysuckle scent, I'm going to spray and wipe down each of the shelves. Now that I have a clear and clean slate to work with, I'm just going to start by arranging our friend's things on the first shelf. After I had rearranged and rearranged multiple times all the other shelves with my dishes and finally got it how I wanted it, I'll show y'all how it looks here in a bit, I went ahead and just wiped down the countertop and set up these three items that I want to stay there. Yeah, I'm on my way now. Before I show y'all how that turned out, I just wanted to go ahead and share a couple drinks. This drink, I actually have a full separate video on how we like to make our sweet tea. We make it using the microwave. I know that might seem weird, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll just show making it, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that video up in the cards and down in the description box in case you would like to see how we make our sweet tea. The second drink that I want to share with y'all is just a simple one. It's just some water flavoring and then adding some water. I like to do this when I need to finish up getting my water intake for the day. And then here I'm just going to continue on with making our sweet tea. And then I'll also be sharing in more full detail a third drink that I have been enjoying recently. Since there is a little bit of an overflow, I go ahead and pour my husband a cup of tea and put it in the fridge. That way when he comes home from work, he has a nice cold cup of iced tea. Now for the third drink that I'm going to share with y'all, it is just a smoothie that only requires these three ingredients. The first one being this peanut butter powder with cocoa. I found that at Aldi and I use a tablespoon of this. You can use one to two tablespoons, however much you want in your smoothie. The second ingredient is just a banana. Now this one was overripe and I had recently stuck it in the freezer. I tried peeling it off but was unable to so I just popped it in the microwave for 10 seconds just to get it a little mushy and squeezed it right out.
The third ingredient you'll need is just some milk. You can use any kind you like. I just use the almond milk. That's the kind that I prefer to drink. It helps me with my PCOS that I have. And anyways, I'm just going to be pouring about eight ounces worth. The last and final step is simply to pulse your drink. And there you have a yummy smoothie that is also healthy. And I absolutely love this mixer that I have. I can just pop it right off. Mmm, so good. And here is a look of it afterwards. I was able to fit everything up in the cabinets, which I'll show y'all in a minute. But I just wanted to go ahead and quickly show y'all this little fruit stand. Obviously, I need to get some fruit on there, bananas at the top, like oranges or lemons at the bottom. But I decided to keep that there because I do like to make the smoothie that I just showed y'all, which was where I put bananas. And if I were to put lemons for lemon water, I think that's just a good area for that. And then right here for my sign, it just says an all night diner, open 24 hours. I've had this for a while. I got it from Goodwill, either $3 or if it was half off day, $1.50. I've had it for a couple years now. And then over here is just our friend's coffee pot. Now up in the cabinets, I just wanted to show y'all because I feel like this is part of the coffee bar station. But I went ahead and just laid her cups down. They wouldn't stand upright, which is fine. And then just her other mugs here, her coffee. And then I took a basket that I've been using elsewhere to just put all of her little random stuff. So that is that shelf. And then up above, I'll just go ahead and show y'all how I set up my dishes. I like how I was able to mostly keep like uh, the sets together, like over here with the Corel, and then over here on the right with the Fiesta, and then up at the top with the stoneware dishes. Now that I have set up and shown y'all my bar cart area, as well as made a drink for y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and turn y'all around and show y'all my mini Christmas in July home tour. Like I say, it is very mini, and you've already seen some of it in some of my videos, but I wanted to just go ahead and show y'all the rest of what I have done. So to start off, like I said, you have already seen this in a couple videos, but here is my Christmas in July tablescape. I do have at least like three or four videos on this table. Funny enough, first off, our table I've mentioned before, but we found this table as well as the four, five, and then there is a sixth chair. And then there is actually a leaf that, thank you to Stephanie from Okie Mom Life, I did went ahead and put that leaf underneath the bed for storage, so thank you for that tip. But we did actually find that whole set on Facebook Marketplace for only $125. I can't state that enough. And I just, I just love it, y'all. And then for my other videos, I do have a video where I haul these napkins, as well as a video where I showed how I do the Christmas tree fold. I have a video each on that. I have a video of another thrifting haul where I thrifted this little plant right here, as well as these pot holder, which I actually have a mitt that goes along with it that I'll show you all in a second, and this little basket, and then a whole separate video of setting this table up, oh yeah, and hauling this as well. So I will be sure to leave a link to those videos. I even put together a Christmas in July playlist for y'all to check out. Moving on from our dining room over into our kitchen, I haven't put very much at all. I just added in this little hand towel that I did show in another Thriftmas haul that I got this little hand towel uh, holder and the loop just is right there. Absolutely love it. And so I just thought I'd bring it out for Christmas in July. It just has a little snowman on there. I have several more but I thought that was cute for Christmas in July. The last thing is, size, like I said, this is a small uh, Christmas in July home tour. I didn't want to do too much, but I did want to put up a little bit, and this is the matching mint that goes with that pot holder. I just set him up here for now. I thought he was super cute. That is all for my little bar cart, as well as my drink, 
and my little Christmas in July home tour. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. And if you are not ready for Christmas yet, leave a thumbs down. Hey. If you're new to my channel and like what you saw today, I definitely will have a lot more Christmas coming out during Christmas time. I promise only one more Christmas in July video and that will be a Thriftmas haul, the last one of four. And like I mentioned in my video, I do have a playlist with all my Christmas in July videos that I'll leave linked up in the cards and down in the description box so that you can go watch those videos. If you liked what you saw, definitely be sure to hit that red subscribe button and click that little bell so that you don't miss out on any more of my content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you will have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!